In this video we're going to learn how to complete the square but for some trickier questions. In the last video we saw how to complete the square for questions that look like this. But in this video they'll look more like this. The main difference here is the number right at the front of the question, in this case a number 3. This is known as the coefficient of x squared. In the last video the coefficient of x squared was always 1, so it just said x squared. But this time there'll be a number in front of it. So the coefficient of x squared is no longer 1. There's another difference too if you look at the completed square form. This time there's an a at the front, and this a wasn't here last time. This means that our completed square form will look a little bit different. There'll be a number in front of the bracket, a number inside the bracket, and a number after the bracket. So we need to find a, b, and c this time. So how do we approach a question like this? Well, what we do is we factorise the first two of the terms so that the coefficient of x squared is just 1 again. Currently, the coefficient of x squared is 3, so that's the number that we would factorise out. I then draw two large brackets, and I would always make these quite large brackets because there are going to be brackets inside these brackets in a moment, and you don't want to get confused. So now we need to decide what would we multiply this 3 by to get 3x squared plus 18x, and that would be x squared and then plus 6x, since 3 times x squared is 3x squared, and 3 times 6x is 18x. So we've now managed to factorise the first two terms, and you'll notice the coefficient of x squared inside the bracket is 1. There's also this term at the end though, the plus 20, and we need to still write that. The next step is we're going to write this out again, but instead we're going to change what's inside the large bracket. In fact, we're going to complete the square in the usual way for the terms that are inside the large bracket. So, we're going to complete the square for x squared plus 6x. We know that'll be a bracket squared, and to work out what goes inside the bracket, remember we half the coefficient of x, so half of 6 is 3. Then to work out the last term, we square what was inside the bracket and subtract it. So subtract 3 squared is subtract 9. So we've now completed the square on the part that was inside the bracket. For the next step, we're going to expand the larger one of the brackets. So 3 times all of this, which gives 3 bracket x plus 3 all squared, and then 3 times negative 9, which is negative 27. And of course, there's still this 20 hanging around at the end. It can be easy to forget about that. The final step here is just to simplify. We have negative 27 add 20, which when you simplify will give you negative 7. And we've now finished the question. If we compare our answer to the completed square form in the question, you'll see that a is 3, b is also 3, and c would be negative 7. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out what I think you should watch next, and also subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads.